Hi guys, this is Michelle Nicolaisen with Bombshell.com and today I am giving you a quick tour of BrightPod. I can't uh, fully show all the features because it's pretty team focused and clearly I'm just one person. But I do think it's a pretty cool tool and that it deserves to uh, have a video review done of it. So that's what I'm doing. So this is the main screen that you see when you log in. And this is the test project, the pod, quote unquote, that is set up when you get a new account. So I'm just going to use this to show you guys how it works. So uh, I think my favorite thing about it is that the entire task thing is drag and drop. So it's, you can see that it's set up Kanban style, which means that there's these lists and you can drag and drop the tasks across them. So you could have this be like stage one, stage two, stage three, and as a progress, or I mean as a task progresses from being worked on by one person to being edited to being reviewed uh, for checking for bugs or getting approval by client, you know, anything like that, these could all have that. So you click on a checkbox to mark it as done. You can star a task. Yeah, so that's it's the focus star. Uh, you can also change the list that it's on from here, assign a person to it. You can track time with it. And so normally, you know, you would have more than one team member over here and you can just drag and drop the picture onto someone to assign that task to you. So it also has recurring tasks, which is nice because there's a surprising amount of uh, project management tools that don't have recurring tasks. So that's good. Um, and then if you view the time in this particular one, you can see that there has been time logged attached to a task. It gives you the time that's been logged for the whole project, how many billable hours, you can filter by team member, you can show all the entries, or you can filter by time. You can also just manually enter time here, and there's an export functionality so that you could conceivably export it and then import it into whatever invoicing tool you use. Uh, I couldn't find anything about an automatic integration with a tool like Toggle or Har Harvest or FreshBooks or whatever. So I don't think it has automatic integration with an invoicing tool, which is too bad because that would be a pretty cool feature to have. Um, you can also attach files both to the project and to the task. You can upload them and then filter them by the tile file type. You can also attach files from Google Drive, Dropbox, or Box, or you know from your computer. So that's a nice little integration, uh, and that's pretty much the project view in a nutshell. There's milestones, of course. So this one has, you know, sample milestone and uh, has tasks attached to it. So as you mark the tasks complete, the bar, the progress bar changes here. So for example, let's look at these. We marked those two complete, so it's showing us 28% complete. So that's a nice uh, progress tracker that's good for a team. It kind of keeps everybody on the same page as far as like, this is how far we are in stage one. This is how far we need to go on stage two. All that jazz. Uh, that's the project view. The home view, what's nice is that there's the focus. This is one of the features that I like because one, uh, one of the problems that a lot of project management tools have is that they have only the project view. But if you're on a team or, you know, if you're fulfilling any role in a business, then you're going to be involved in more than one project, which means that you need to have an easy way to see all of the tasks and all of your information across all projects. So if you mark something as focus, then you can come here and you can see all the tasks across all projects that you need to focus on that are your priorities right now. You can drag and drop them today, this week, and someday. You can also just change them from here. Uh, and then another thing that I really like is the calendar. So BrightPod is intended for marketing teams, and that means that uh, they have this calendar set up so that it has all the tasks across all projects, and you can drag and drop. You can change the due dates uh, in here, but you could also have editorial calendars set up or, like, uh, you know, for uh, 
blog posts, social media, etc. set up in here because you can set up events. And then from here, you can set up task type, client, and the last thing in the home view is the insights. Which is taking forever. <laughs> While we're doing this, I'm not going to show you because this review is already going a little, little long. Didn't drink enough coffee before I started, I guess. But uh, they have automated workflows, and that's pretty cool. So you can create your own workflow, which is a project template, or you can use one of theirs. And since they're intended for marketing teams, they have workflows like, where's it at? Email marketing template, Twitter routine, social media marketing, getting started with LinkedIn ads things like that, but a couple of other ones too. So this is the insights. You can change the date, you can change what's shown, you can change the team members, and it just gives you an overview of all the data, which is, you know, a nice thing to have. One last feature is that uh, it integrates with email. So from your email, if, the, if you're out on the go, and this would be especially useful if you're using this with your team because it doesn't have an iPad or an iPhone app as far as I could find. So you could, if you're out on the go, you could add uh, tasks and task lists through email. So, you know, you can add tasks, like I said, messages, files, all that jazz through email. So that's pretty much BrightPod. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, just leave a comment on the video or on the blog post. Like I said, sorry this one was a little bit rambly. Didn't drink enough coffee beforehand. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.